I'm not even gonna gas y'all up. I'm disappointed at what I'm about to show y'all. These park reps, I don't know about y'all, but I don't but look I don't like I'm gonna be like grinding for top rep. I'll tell you that right now, all right? Just being real. Let's jump into this video, smack that like button. Big up, big up, big up. Park rep is confirmed. I slowed the video down just to show you guys. We're gonna break down the each rank for the new park rep and the new park look. How are y'all thinking about the new park rep logo? This is different than any other one that we've seen now. That is the highest rep right there, Elite 3. Elite 3 is the highest rep, but they brought back Rookie, Pro, All-Star, and Superstar, and then you go to Elite. Now they cut off at the bottom what the rewards are, but we're gonna go into that. We're gonna break those rewards down. And as you can see, this is how it looks when you rep up. Now, this is better than the previous years to me. Instead of just having a highlight over you, you get a whole highlight on the ground, <laughs> okay? And he sm that's, that's kind of nice. That's some type of anime power-up, okay? And I know all my ISO people, they're going to have all these different anime-looking characters. Y'all already know I'm going to come up with something creative. And right here, you see the Pro-Am 3v3. This is brand new. This looks like crew, but it's on a new level. Like if you want to run crew, this is your pro-am for 3v3. And I think that this will be interesting. I do believe that this will be interesting, but let's break down the park. Once again, we're looking at how it levels up. This is how it levels up off the court. That's what I'm, that's what it's looking like. And the park just looked like it has a whole bunch of new trees. I'm not really too worried about it anymore because Brutal Sim made a good point of, about a month ago that every year 2k just makes minor changes to the parts why are we so you know shocked but let's take a look at this this is what we're going to be looking at right now this is what we're going to keep playing over and over right now rookie three you're going to be able to get bling bling at swags my court rims available i guess for the basketball hoop and you're able to wear accessories that's all it's looking like for rookie three so I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. Let's jump into the next one. Pro 1, you'll be able to show off tier 2 emotes. Neighborhood gameplay animations now available. Probably like jump shot animations. And you're going to be able to pick up a skateboard. Wow, you can pick up a skateboard already just at Pro 1. So skateboards are not really that big of a deal anymore. So we're going to have to see. Uh, we did see that little tricycle in the trailer, but... That's a good thing because I don't want to be running everywhere and waiting until I'm a 92 to get it. Pro 2's rep reward, you get iron walls, set hard screens in the neighborhood. So that's a park badge. That's the first park badge I think you get. So it looks like you get park badges by repping up. That's weird. You should have got it just by the gameplay. Then you get tier one player panels. Uh, okay, I don't know what that is. And put on your best hat. So you get to wear hats. That's not really important. That's not what we're caring about right now. Move on to the next one. At Pro 3, you get legends jerseys in the NBA store. Okay. You get all your eyewear needs. I'm guessing your glasses and you can get your wheels, your scooters. So this is kind of like the 19 rep system, how the skateboard, then the scooter followed. But I know my park junkies don't care about those. So on to the next one. All-Star 1, Tier 3 emotes, pick up a beach cruiser and you have unlocked more game and animation. I'm not going to lie. These rep rewards are getting kind of weak. In previous years, we had lions and jetpacks. What's going on? It's like we're going back. On to the next one. Screen Crusher at All-Star 2. Customize your own My Court floor. That is terrible as a rep reward. That was free in the previous years. That's terrible. Tier 2 player panels. Come on, man. 2K, y'all are not listening to us. We just wanted park affiliations. Next, All-Star 3. Drop beats in the neighborhood. Come on, do we, we really don't care about that stuff. Tier 4 emotes, okay. BMX bike, all right, that's decent. A BMX bike, I'll take it. It's better than customizing your mic court, which was free, as I said before in the previous years. Now it's a rep reward. Come on, man. Let me know how y'all feeling so far about these rewards. This ain't it. I'm just gonna be real with y'all. <laughs> Superstar one, you can take your shirt off. Okay. Park handles, that's a good one. Superstar one, you have to be a superstar one to be able to do part dribble moves now. 
in the neighborhood. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I, I like that one. You can place tattoos on your neck, chest, and back. Uh, all right, that's fine. All right, that's a that's a decent reward. Everything except the tattoos. Uh, okay. I I, I rock with this one a little bit, but this this is like more of an all star two or three reward for me. Nah, I'll say no, cause in two K fifteen, in order to take your shirt off, you had to be a legend one, if I remember correctly. So this is fine. Superstar two, you get. What is that? Beats? That's headphones? It looked like headphones available. You get additional part gameplay animations. Spin it again. Two spins. Okay, from the daily spin, you get two spins. But that first one looks like some headphones or some bikes. I can't really tell. Oh, man. That's going to be a tough one to figure out. But that looked like it's going to be... That's not headphones. That looked like probably a race car or something. I don't know. That's, let me know what y'all think that one is because it got me over here playing a puzzle. It looked like one of those little tricycles we saw in the trailer as well. So it could be any one of those. Hopefully it's not headphones. I doubt it would be headphones now that I think about it. I just thought it was headphones because that little band. But okay. On to the next one, Superstar 3. Superstar 3, something about entrance. You're a gym rat, so that means no more buying stamina boost. No more after going to the treadmill. That's a good one, but that shouldn't be at Superstar 3. That should be the same as unlocking a skateboard. And you can pick up a low rider at wheels. That's weak. If I already got a bicycle, I don't need a roll low rider. Elite 1. Get the first crack on all... Sh I don't know what that is. I'm guessing when they release shoes, you're going to be the one of the first to be able to purchase them before they run out. That's not a rep reward, man. More animations. Why? No place like my court. Come on, man. This better be some heat. This my court they talking about this year better be some heat. You better be able to earn rep in that my court. All right. This is not acceptable. Now, like I said, I'm hoping that below these top three, there is probably two more rows of things you can earn. But still, the top three should be the best. And it's not looking like it. Elite two, you get to create your own shirt. You get the next level on player panels and you get double the VC. That's not a bad one. But uh, I don't know. I'm starting to feel like they should just bring back 16 and 17 rep rewards and just leave it at that. Because every year the rep rewards are just getting worse. Look at this. This stuff used to be free. Creating your t-shirt used to be free. And then we have the mascots at the last level. And you get to dress like an athlete, which none of us really care about. Except, you know, it's not something that should be the last rep reward. Y'all know that. And then the first one, I don't know what it says, but it's... It looked like some lights. I don't know. All right. I don't know. But at this point, I don't know what to tell y'all about the last rep rewards. If it's even worth grinding to that top rep other than getting the mascot. But last year, the mascots were broken. And by the look on the screen right now, I don't know. It looked like those mascots are not even the correct height. But I'm not going to be too negative against the mascots, but I am a little disappointed at these rep rewards they brought back the park rep which is what we wanted but the rep rewards are kind of weak i'm not even gonna lie i'm just being honest guys you know i gotta be honest with y'all and i know some of y'all are probably thinking the same thing smack that like button and comment down below if you're having the same type of feelings man but hey if there's some positives we can take from this is at least we're getting park rep back and at least they're doing other things that's new other than like because you got to remember from 2k15 to 2k16 they really didn't do much difference this is way more different than they did before so for the people complaining about the park look hey it is what it is they've done this every single year so you really can't complain about that but for the rep rewards i'm gonna say that i wish the rep rewards were a little bit better i think that's what you're gonna unlock at elite 2 the scooter we just saw but hey who knows and then they have this little thing this is probably going to be for mostly the kids or the people that just really play this for arcade type mode but for the people like me who grinded to 99 last year and basically are true grinders this is not very exciting to see what we're going to be grinding for this doesn't make you want to say i want to be first top rip all right now that park is live i'm not gonna lie i need to be on that park whenever they got that event every single time because that park is live Palm trees on the door, know the thing already. Jamaica on the know the thing already. 
coconut tree we rock with but still they added snow and different seasons that's what we wanted last year so they did listen to something now we really can't knock them because they did listen to some of the things we said we wanted but the park community is one of the biggest communities in this game we're one of the people that keep the game running okay when all else fails people are going to go back to the park and have some fun all right that's the online competitive the best mode for competitiveness my team reg all that i get that but park to me that's the most fun part all right reg is up there too wasn't really a big fan of my team because all the gambling and stuff but if they fix that i'll be on my team too but i don't know guys let me know what y'all think in the comment section big up on the self big up the lord almighty who doesn't want to count nothing off i felt a sneeze coming y'all my gaming gone Thank you.